Hi everyone, so it is Book 2 Veda, day 27, and the other day I did a review on the Hunger Games movie or book to movie comparison, so I thought I would talk about Catching Fire. So Catching Fire, Catching Fire, everyone seems to love this but me. Don't get me wrong, um, much like the first one, the acting is fantastic, In this one we get to meet past tributes, and I think the actors they picked fit the descriptions, not even the descriptions, but like the personalities, they brought them to life perfectly. The atmospheric tone that this movie has is gripping and gritty and emotional and everything. The arena that's used in this one, you, you can see from book to movie, again, that it just comes to life perfectly. You know, all the special effects were just excellent. The emotion was there. It just all blended together very well. And again, much like the first movie, this one expands beyond the character, you know, because the books are all first person point of view. So we get to see other things going on outside of her point of view. And the movies are excellent in that. What I didn't like about this movie and why I just don't understand why people claim it to be so fantastic and everything is it's missing so much. It, it really is. So Catching Fire basically takes place after the games and sorry if anything is a spoiler for you but um the books have been out for a while now. All three of them contain the same character. You can literally read her name on the back. So you, you, you kind of can put two and two together that certain things happen. So Catching Fire is basically about her life after the games, um, moving on from things, dealing with you know the memories of the arena and everything, and then there is. The victory tour which after you win the games you become a victor and everything you go to each district under victory tour so they have to deal with going to the districts of that tributes and yeah the, 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 a lot of that was done really well um, I loved the scene with the mocking day dress. That that was fabulous. Um, scene at the banquet with the drink and everything. All, all that stuff they put in was acted out very well. Um, that it was just great. But. <sighs> There's other things in there. There's these scenes with Cinna and everything about um, trying to find her talent to show off to the Capitol because they're supposed to have like talent to show off and everything and dressmaking and you know more scenes with Gale and talking about their family and survival and talks of rebellion. Again, there's several characters missing. Several like you know scenes with those characters and everything, those scenes with Cinna and, and everything are nowhere to be found in the movie. I know this is a, this, a dystopian, uh, a sequel to a dystopian book continuing on into a trilogy, and those are usually pretty gritty and, you know, dark and sad and everything, and it is, the, the book is and everything, but there's some light humor, you know, points parts um 
with certain characters and that that's all taken out I, I feel that a couple scenes are a little bit more dramatic than they actually were in, in the movie or in the, in the book and and it, it's just like they, they take out anything that and of course because she wasn't in the first movie Madge is not in there at all um, there's more history in the book about the Mockingjay pen and where it came from and where Madge got it from and everything. And a bit of good, but of course, because she was completely cut from the first movie, she's none of that's in here. Um, because we get to see a glimpse into the games that Hamlet was in and everything. That's all taken out. So, you know, interesting history behind. Uh, the, the symbol here in, in the background, you know, that, that's all taken out of the movie, despite the fact that the last book and movie, two movies, are, is called Mockingjay. Um, and, you know, you realize through all oh, four movies, because it's three books, but they split up the last one into two movies, that what the Mockingjay is is never actually explained. And there's actually a deleted scene in here where that explains it, and they didn't bother to put it into the movie. But yeah, the effects and everything are great. The acting is great. All that is fantastic. And if this wasn't a movie based on a book that I read that I know had so much more to it, I would think this is a great movie like everyone else does. And in those aspects, um, acting wise and everything, it is a fantastic movie. But all the things they take out, just it's just a repeat of the first one. Yes, there are different things such as the transformation of the Mockingjay dress and the victory tour itself and everything. But basically, it is her hunting. Her dealing with Hunger Games-ish stuff. I mean, that's different because it's post-games. And the Victory Tour is something different. But basically, it is a son's cat and stories about family. Um, names are drawn for the Hunger Games. And then they are in the games. And then other stuff happens. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, there's a couple things that are different, but other than that, there's so much taken out of here. It, it's basically just a retelling of the first one. And a lot of that stuff happened in the book, yeah, but there was still other things going on in the story. The movie is worth watching. I own it, obviously. I enjoy it. But I just don't love it as much as everyone else. I like that they got cat like this time. I don't know what the heck they were thinking of the first one. But maybe it's because I read the book first that this was just a little more disappointing than the first movie. But anyways, um, it, it's worth picking up. It's worth watching. It's great acting. All that other stuff is just, yeah, it's, it's like half of Kenny, basically. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.